Welcome to another episode of Game of Dudes Podcast. I'm Bren. I'm Spidey. And we're back on the couch. Yep, we're back on the couch. Which does kind of smell a little bit now that you mentioned it last time. We are in an apartment. We are in an apartment that has two dudes in it who have probably sweat quite a bit. We are here, and I'm going to interview our boy here. Yeah, I don't know what's planned here. What's so. planned here? I want to ask you a deep... I was going to say that you... I was going to have you kind of control this episode because I feel like I've been controlling okay. the other ones a bunch, so... So, what was the first game you played? Video game? Yep, well, the very first. Board game? Board game, yeah. Um, what was the first one you played? That's really hard. Like, really got... I, I guess I'll say got into... The first game I ever played easier. was... Game on Sega. It was either Tom and Jerry or Mickey's Magical Adventure. Oh yeah, on the like, on the on the Gen. It's not on called the, Magical SNES, Adventure, yeah. but it's like a classic one. Yeah, I remember that. Well, it's on a Sega too. In the Sega, yeah. I remember Dad took it back because he thought it was too hard, but <laughs> that. Of course he did. I played. Of course that. he took it back. I think those are the first games I ever played in Sonic. Um, first Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Okay. So, Sonic might have been my first, actually. So. What was your experience with it? Just give me the, give me the, uh, the first experience. It's hard to remember. It was so long. Like, well, ago. What were your <laughs> thoughts? I guess. I thought it was awesome, but it wasn't like I was completely sucked in. Mm-hmm. Like I thought it was awesome. I played it. Yeah. Cool, but it was more of like, oh, every once in a while. It wasn't like a Mario sixty four thing or an Ocarina of Time thing. Oh, it was more dude. Like a, Okay. Well, it was still good, but yeah. So, so, so it wasn't like a, I it wasn't like passionate. Well, the about reason it, why you weren't passionate about it is because, well, with a two D game, you can only do so much. Yeah, but it's all we had then. So yeah, it's like, it is. But I mean, and also, there's no fancy lighting on top of it. They didn't really like do any. Like, I'm not saying Sonic looked bad, but it wasn't really like this amazing looking thing where I'm like, oh, dude, look at all the. Yeah, like, but that's just how games. I mean, games back then were like, like like that though. I feel like Super Mario World looked better than Sonic, to be honest. Yeah, there was way more color. Dude, that game I played the crap out of. That those. game was really. I good. was way, I got I played games a lot more when I got Super Nintendo. Mm. Well, yeah, because I think Nintendo Donkey Kong Country in was, general back then Donkey Kong Country might have been the first game I was like obsessed with that and that and Mario, the Super Mario World. Okay. That you were talking about, but anyway. Next question. So of the single-player games, what sucked you in the most? Uh, it, it, it can even be of today. Of any? Of any, yes. Uh, even today. Just sucked in completely. Your, your hook, line, and sinker one of my it. One of my fondest memories of playing video games, like a single-player game, was called this game called Legends of the Dragoon. I have heard of that, believe it or not. And like me and my buddy played because it's turn based, so we would Ooh, let turn based RPGs. We would e- we would let each person be a character. So like oh. I would choose my attack and pass the controller, and he would do his thing. That's kind of cool. Um, and we it was like a three disc, it was like a two or three disc game. Like it was huge. Was it like a PS2 game or it was a... PlayStation One? Oh, dude, PS One. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's wow. And we played that. It took us weeks to get through it, but every time I'd come over and spend the night, we'd play that and just like continue on from there. Where you like sucked into the story, the characters, the world. Yes, because for me then, <laughs> that was like my first experience with that kind of stuff. Was that, like, that like kind immersion of, and stuff? Probably the first RPG I played that I was like, I, first RPG I played, so my mind was like blown. You're like, I was like, Whoa. like oh dude, games can be I like get this, to, like, they equip, can have deep stories. They can equip like, stuff to my character and I can like yeah it's way more strategic your character like levels up and gets better and there's like Legends of Dragoon is a great I'm sure people think it's a great game now I wouldn't be surprised but but so so you're saying that like that was the first sorry what was your question it was it was the first story game you were like immersed in that was the first one that I was like, whoa, this is awesome. Like I was into the characters. In, you can list off some other games, not just the first I one. I mean, Final Fantasy VII was another one that I was like really sucked yeah, into. Yeah, that one. That one's like a, like a common, that's like a, you, you got the really common but one. But I was obsessed too. with Final Fantasy 
our parents wouldn't let us play him at, at, at that time. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, but it's pretty dark for. That's like Final Fantasy. I was obsessed with like the art. So really, yeah. I was obsessed with. I I liked anime style stuff. You did from way before it was popular. But I didn't even know that was anime. I was just like, dude, yep. this art style is cool. We were. I didn't even know they were Japanese either. So I was just like, oh. I just assumed everything was made in America, so. Yeah, me too. I was me like, too, oh, actually. This, you know, Pokemon, American. I don't even think I thought about other parts of the world at all when I was that age, ever. The only time I... Actually, I don't really know. ...did was like, I guess, when Japan got those earthquakes, I had thought about it when I was a young boy. Oh, I forgot so, about that. I was like, oh, that sucks for those people. <laughs> but, all right, <laughs> we're moving on. Best soundtrack. In gaming. Like top three. That's really Just give me hard. a top three. Uh, right off the top of your I'm head. I'm going to have to throw a Pokemon game in there. Like, absolutely. Which one? It's hard, because it's between Ruby and Sapphire and Diamond and Pearl. It is very good. Diamond and Pearl's pretty good. Um, well, Ruby and Sapphire is tough to not. But it does become a bit... The, the thing with Ruby and Sapphire is I feel it's more consistent... Like, Diamond and Pearl gets out there depending on the song you're listening to. Some of the well, nighttime yeah, songs have Ruby and weird. Sapphire matches. It kind of like yes, I feel like a lot of Pokemon games they match. Like the art style Dude, with the stuff they did with just the even even Gold and Silver's music is amazing. Well, yeah, especially the dude. I listen to the eight bit tracks more than the remake. Yeah, honestly, you know, and honestly, in a big way, I kind of like the older version. So I might say Gold and Silver actually is my favorite. That is a very good soundtrack. So um, probably Gold and Silver. Is one of them. Second favorite soundtrack of all time. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 is in there. The first sure. game is very good. It is like, very the music's good. music's awesome. But the whole sound in it in general is good, I feel like. It is very good. But. Third. Oh, it's gotta be. I was gonna say Link to the Past, but probably Ocarina of Time. Cause oh of my time gosh, is dude. Actually, yeah. Ocarina of Time is probably one. Yeah. And then... I'm, I'm, and then Gold and Silver and then Kingdom Hearts, probably. For yeah. Me. No, I get that. Uh, the first... Here's the thing about the first Kingdom Hearts, though. It's very... The soundtrack's interesting. I think Kyrie's theme is probably my favorite in the oh, entire yeah. game. Plus the opening freaking song. Though, yeah, Simple and Clean dude, is very good. I listen to that to this day. Um... I'm more of a Kingdom Hearts 2 guy soundtrack wise. Not I will say Simple and Clean is the better opening song than Sanctuary, but I think Kingdom Hearts 1 had more Kingdom Hearts 2 had more good it's music way throughout. More intense. Like it's way more intense like, than 2. Throughout and the first one it's more like there's certain moments that are yes, really Yes, the moments and the music tie together. Cuz really I remember moments in Kingdom Hearts 1 not but Kingdom Hearts 2 I remember like all the music. Yes, throughout. yes, the, the like specifically Dark Cloud ones. Or Dark Cloud Two is another Dark Cloud one. one great. Don't don't be sleeping on Dark Cloud One. I, I just was it was so hard for me when I was musically, a kid that I didn't that I didn't yeah play musically it, so I didn't hear say, much but. musically the be the the beginning theme there I listened to where you're walking in the the fields it's kind of like a westerny kind of feel yeah. but but I will say but, oh, okay so well what about you for me <laughs> um. Uh, Ocarina of it has Time. To be. I mean, who's? I, mean, I feel like Ocarina of Time is probably in most people's at I least mean, top three. Yeah, Koji Kondo, and and and, and you know he kind of went above and beyond. What if I said Breath of the Wild? I mean, that's that's <laughs> you do you, man. But I know I, I would disagree. Um, anyway. All right, so I got to go second. This is going to come out of nowhere. Arkham Asylum. For me, those tracks are very backgroundy, but every time I hear them. It, like like I can't remember what the music is. Sometimes I'll watch a video, and I'll hear music. It's super bad. And I'll hear music. It's like a movie soundtrack. I'll hear music much. where I'll be like, "Oh, that's from Arkham Asylum." Like I'll watch a, a comic dub where someone's voicing over the comic. I'm like, "Oh, that's Arkham music. Why why is that there?" I'm like, "Oh, it sounds really good." See, when I was younger, I didn't notice that at all. But the more I heard, especially Asylums, there's something about it. It's like movie like, but what's nice about it is it's very subtle. It's it's epic, but it's quiet. City's m- music is very booming. Origins music is very booming and intense, and they're trying to 
Asylum's very quiet. It really immerses you into like the mystery of the the place. It's very terrifying. It's very moody, and I like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, the other games are like, like they're very big and very, very like. Yeah, Arkham didn't use it as like a focal point. No, no, and and uh, Asylum was the closest one that I feel. For me, I do that soundtrack. Just listening to it is is the main theme. In general, I just remember walking Joker on his little gurney thing that he's going, you know, past the security, and the music's playing, and Batman's just snarkily insulting him, and I'm just like, oh, I'm just remembering all that stuff. But uh, if I have to go third, hmm, probably Kingdom Hearts two, just because the tension of the music at times. Yeah. I don't get emotional <laughs> during boss fights. But Axel versus Roxas is one of the rare cases that I do because the music and remembering the game before it, you know, the spinoff that came later kind of is like, even before that, I was like, oh, this is emotional because he doesn't know who his friend, you know, his, he's he doesn't remember anything. Roxas doesn't. Mm. He's just beating the crap out of his friend. And the second he does remember, it's like, oh, it's too late. It's too late, you know. They they can't really reconvene. They'll never be friends again, you know. They'll never and that's, you know, the piano just comes in and then oh, dude. It was it like that that moment for me was so emotional, but I would have to tie it with Kingdom Hearts 1. See, that's the thing. I can't pick one over the other because for me it's like there there are moments in both of those games that just yeah, they they get me. Okay, now we're on back to questioning you again. Okay, I was just curious. <laughs> so, yeah, well, okay. <clears throat> what was the worst game you've played? Like, ever played, period. Ooh, like, that's a good really question. bad. So Ooh, bad I forgot Earthworm Jim continue. was one I played a lot as a kid, too. Um, like, you played Earthworm Jim so much. But. You could not continue. Like, it was so it's bad. probably been more recently than back in the day. <laughs> like, so bad. Uh, Like, not to the point where it's not even fun to continue. That's what I'm trying to think of. That's a tough question. Breath of the Wild, I played a little bit and stopped. It makes sense because, but, I mean, dude, I tried to give the game a fair shot. See, I tried my best, but for me, it's just like, I didn't try my best. There is a, but like, for me, I tried my best. I beat two whole dungeons. I didn't I was care just about like, that much. I couldn't, I couldn't do it because for me, the, the limitations of the world of the older games just, I mean, I don't like. Actually, you know what? Uncharted 4. Dude, that game is really bad to me. Uncharted 4 started off awesome. Agreed. And the second I got into that open faux open world thing, yes. I was like, this is yes. trash. Like, why does every game... The linearity of Uncharted... Think they have to do that they have to do that. Is what makes it fun. But... I still there's still aspects of it I like, so it's not the worst yes, game. Yes, it is played. not the worst game, but but it has some pretty low lows though. I mean that's that's a good answer. I'm trying to think book. that or probably I mean probably Breath of the Wild because I couldn't even finish I don't yeah, I don't dude, have any interest bro, to finish it. And I did play it. Bro, look, it's like That doesn't mean but I like I said, I, I thought Mario Odyssey was gonna be lame and I loved it. But game. there's a difference. Mario Odyssey still keeps the core of what makes Mario good. I I would have to I feel like it's unfair for me to say because I didn't play it enough. But I don't want to be on it too long, so I guess I'd say one of those two. It, the reason why I'm saying that is because Because Uncharted Four I didn't finish. And, and I, I, and I finish. did finish it only because I got to that area where you're in the cave and you're blowing up. Yeah, like that, randomly, that and I was just like See, you know what was annoying like, to me care. about that? I missed when there was a supernatural element, whether it be the creatures that crawled out, whether it be the I may have gotten a, the gin. Was... You know the the fiery eyes in three. Wait a sec. So four, what is the the ending? Is like you 
save Sam from like the people, your yep, brother, right? From Wraith, yeah. Then I no, I actually did go back and beat it. And it's just like either that or I just watched the cutscenes. In my mind, I was like, "That's it." When I when I got to the end of the game, I was like, "That's it." He has a daughter. I don't and... like the direction that any of it went. Really, like <sighs> the beginning was cool when they were kids, and the brother oh, yeah, stuff that was, was great. cool. That and stuff was great. Honestly. There's a lot of I wish cool it was stuff. The full game. Uh, him in his twenties in prison with his brother was awesome. That was too. really they cool. Just... There's a lot of really cool. So I, don't, I can't really say it's that because I kept playing. It's not for a so terrible long. game, but what I'm telling you is, is I'm for... trying to think of one where I played and I was like, "What the crap?" You I see, can't. I don't go to Uncharted. Oh, WarioWare. Oh, that game. WarioWare is one of the dumbest games. People love. That yeah, game. I don't get it either. I I've tried it to recently. play it. I hate with it. a friend. It was literally hate it. It was weird. It was a weird concept. The problem is. It it is annoying because when you you just switch from mini game to mini game and you're like what? And the video games are so dumb. Like at least Mario Party, they're fun. Oh, agreed. So yeah, definitely, definitely worried. But if you're it. bored one day, I tried a couple times. I was like, oh, this is trash. Yeah, I don't blame you. I was never a fan of it either. It's not like I'm like, oh, dude, Wario were, but it was okay. Yeah, it was like, eh. So yeah, probably that's a game that I played. I like got and played. I was like, "Cool party game," and I played it for like two seconds. I was like, "Oh, yeah, this, this is, is so terrible bad. because there's it's like short games." Yeah. So Why would you pro- want to do probably that? that. <clears throat> probably worry aware. <laughs> okay. Favorite main character in a video game. Oof. Ever, of all time. Or top three. We'll go top three. It's hard because it. Yeah, that's probably good. That's a bit more fair because it it gives you. It's more. hard because like I want to say, well, I guess Red is a character in Gold and Silver. Yes, he is, and he would count because your trainer doesn't really have any personality. Most no, of the time. not at all. Which is fine because it made it, it for those games. It made it feel like it was like me. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. I will say, as time has gone on, I wonder if they couldn't dabble in a. More dialogue heavy. Actually, I guess Pokemon is technically my first RPG I ever played. That's true. Didn't think about it. But anyway, yeah. He'd probably be on there, but the manga helps. Yes, but we're not including supplemental. We're not counting supplemental material here. Because most people who enjoy something do not read the books. Sonic is one for sure, without a doubt. Sonic is definitely on there. Very good character. Good choice. Um,. I want to say Mario because I love Mario. Well, he's iconic. Uh, but probably Sonic. I kind of like Luigi more than Mario. Everyone does, including me. So if I'm counting Luigi's Mansion, probably Luigi. Yeah, because he's of just course. charming the whole time. Oh yeah, dude! Every scene. And then it's funny. <laughs> Am I only gonna pick Nintendo? I might. Well, you have Sega, Nintendo, and now you're gonna. It's Probably, kinda... I really like. Uh, there's one. It's hard because I want to say Cloud, but you more of a Leon guy. I like Leon, but Cloud I love. But it's like there was one character I was obsessed with in Fire Emblem, like the one wizard kid that you get in that yeah, Fire Emblem I, game. I never got. I play. never got to the second story. I so can't remember his name, but there's like a wizard boy that I like thought was so cool like when I played so probably him mm. if I can't remember his name but minus him since I don't know his name probably Cloud I guess okay that's it's good. hard because Roxas I want to pick a Kingdom Hearts guy because well the thing is Roxas is like really close well yeah especially dude he would have been on my list I, I'll just say Cloud yeah because no that makes in sense in Final Fantasy 7 it was just like I was obsessed It's I, he's an iconic character that's um, the thing he's iconic but it's hard because Link. Link's, I also want to put Link the on thing. there, but it, but there's different Links. Yeah, that's the problem. Is the problem with Link is it's always the 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 thing is they never let him be like they they never let you stay with a Link for too long, which ticks me off. You get too far off end of time, Link. I'm thinking you left me with a cliffhanger on Majora's Mask. Where is he? Why did you not show me another game with him? What were you thinking? See, that's not how you write your games, folks. If you have a cliffhanger, Nintendo, you resolve it. Oh, we'll resolve it in Twilight Princess. Still didn't get the resolution I wanted. So, failed at that. 
But yeah, no. Link is uh, is tempting, but I, I'm not going to list mine because this is about you, good sir. Are you sure? No. You can if you want. Maybe next episode I'll ask you. So. <laughs> yeah, next episode, we can save that for another episode. Okay. <sighs> okay. Favorite girl in a game. Ooh, that's good. Dang. We'll go top three. See, because I get that. Oof. Because a lot of guy characters, see, it's different. The girls are a lot more polarizing. There's some really good ones and really bad ones. Meanwhile, the guys are all kind of the same. That's how I see it. Kyrie is 100% on, on the list. Yeah. Especially first two games, dude. She she had so much personality. Yeah. Meanwhile, the... the she just kind of felt like the glue of everything in the yes, first one. Yes, and that's what's annoying about the, the later ones. Yeah, true. She just kind of not... <laughs> second one, any, not as much. Well, the second one, she was still a little bit there. Yeah, but not like but the first one. But after that, she's nothing. Like, at least there's a reason why she's not. Because, you know, Sora's got to get to her. That's the thing. It's about him getting to her. And had she not remembered Sora's name, he would have never got his memories back. So, Nominee? Um, oh gosh. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do like Nominee a lot. Dude. I do, too. Oh, my gosh. Makes me emotional <laughs> thinking about her. I'm, Shion, too, dude. Yeah, there's so many. I could pick him just out of I think, marks, dude, Shion would be mine. Him. Shion would be mine hands down, brother. Kyrie's definitely one. There's so many girls in games that are awesome, though. For me, this would be a very difficult question. It is hard just because I'm thinking of so many. Oh, for me, it would oh, be Zelda's a difficult... Oh, Zelda's one, easily. It'd be a difficult question because I'm very picky. <laughs> That's why I, it'd be difficult Zelda's for one, me. for sure. Like, the whole Sheik arc, everything about her. Sheik she's, was very good, especially Ocarina of Time Zelda. Yeah, she's awesome. She was great in that so game. So she's, she's definitely one. I, I might say that's the only game she really stood out for me. And probably Cynthia. Er, oh, yeah, yeah Cynthia from Pokemon. From Pokemon. Yeah, Dude. Probably Cynthia. Yeah, you're really going for the weebs over here, my man. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I I could think of more, but like Cynthia's, like I, I want to put Chloe on there. Yeah, but I mean, dude, she just doesn't there's have enough depth. There's no depth. Really. There's no depth. That's the thing. <clears throat> so yeah, that's probably it. It's funny how all my games. It's like all from the same. I just love those games. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I I would have to slap on. Uh, I think your name's Coco, or who's the Crash Bandicoot girl? Oh yeah, you're talking about Coco. Yeah, Coco, his definitely. sister. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Too yeah, like I said, too bad she's barely. Well, she doesn't talk in the third game much, but in the second one she does. So. Oh, actually, you know what? At least that's there. It would have to be so. It would it would be Kyrie, Cynthia. Ugh, taking off Zelda's hard, but there's a game called um, Clay Fighters. No, Never not Clay Fighters. It. It's and it's an N64 game with a girl with green hair. Okay, I had the feeling you were going to bring that Robo. Up. Because we looked her up and did see her. Yeah. But I don't, we don't remember the name of it all. I'll just throw a picture up if, if I... Uh, it's something fighter or something. That game. This game. Her, she was awesome. There's the label, people. Yeah. This game. Right uh, here. Her, probably. But it's hard because Zelda's... I'll take her. Eh, I'll do four. Love Zelda okay. and her. Okay, here's an even more difficult one. Villains. Best villains. Oh, that's good. <sighs> Like for games. Oof. But I, I I go back to a Ganondorf. Uh, dude, Ganondorf is easily. I'm going back to like Zelda, but it's like it's just he's so good, so, dude. His pre- he, he's creepy. He's creepy in, 60, in the and he's also, of time. also the most masculine man you'll ever see in a Zelda game too. <laughs> he's like jacked. Oh, dude. What's the green-haired elf in Ocarina of Time? That's Saria. You're putting Saria on the ground. Yeah, Saria. Dude, everybody did. But everybody did. Yeah, probably. Oof, that's hard though, because I like I like every girl in in Ocarina of Time. I oh, love great. the Apo- Dude, like Malin, the girl from Apona. Yeah, Malin's great. Um, anyway, the villains Ganondorf has to be on there. Has to be. Adventus is that the one from? Oh, Vanitas. You talking about the black-haired guy from Birth by Sleep? Maybe. He looks like Sora. He's got the same face. 
Are you talking about Ansem? Ansem, that's okay. Ansem, Ansem. First Kingdom Hearts Ansem is a. Fantastic Although if I could count villain. Riku, I would I would count Riku. Dude, Riku is better as a villain than as That's a hero. What I'm so actually, I, I take Ansem and put in. I put Riku when he's in his villain arc for his sure. His villain arc is actually really well written, and then he becomes a flat character who's guilty all yes. the time. I do love his villain arc though. His villain arc, him being a he was cool yeah. as a villain. He was good, he and was he was really good, good. And you really wanted to see him get his comeuppance, and that's what's good. But and he's also, like mysterious a little bit. And he was dark and evil. Yeah. I liked how evil he was. It was fun. Uh, and then they got rid of it. They they sanitized him for the kids. I keep going back to Pokemon. I almost want to see Giov- Giov- Oh, well, People dude. say Giovanni. I would he- say Giov- Givona, which isn't even close. <laughs> Givona? Giovanni is probably one. I'm sure there's some language that pronounces it like that out there. Or if I could count... I guess he's not really a villain. Silver? I really did like Silver. I had a feeling you were going to say that. That's. I love how it's the same games. So Ganondorf, <laughs> Silver, and Riku. Dude, Riku. Oh my gosh, and Ganondorf. I also like Silver. I know I'm going back to those games, but it's like... Those... A certain lot of, villains just don't... Like, st- I mean, I, I like... Um, oh, agreed. I do love Crash Bandicoot. Uh, what's the guy with the big N on his head? Cortex. I do love well, he Cortex. He got a lot cooler as the games went on, like 2 and 3. A lot, pretty intimidating, but I also too. Like Dr. Robotnik. Oh yeah, Dr. Eggman. Actually, Shadow has to be on there. So I take Dude, this back. Shadow is the... Is it has to be Shadow, Riku. Well, funny you say that because I'm splitting an anti, in Ganondorf. anti-hero category. In you can chuck Shadow in there. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you can chuck him in there. All right, cool. So then that's it then. <sighs> so I'll just throw that. So Ganondorf, Riku, Silver. Yep. Because the only anti-hero you'd know is Shadow. Most people only know Shadow in games. He's the rare case where you don't have anti-heroes. I thought the silver was such a cool aspect on the the rival. <laughs> oh, with the Because Gary's thief, just like yeah. a douche. Yeah, he is. You don't is. really care that much. And even in the games, he's not that bad, like he's, douche-wise. He, is, he just kind of makes fun of you. But in, so he's just a kid. Yeah, he's, he's more just like poking fun, which is kind of funny. Well, he's just humorous. But him being smug is awesome. Honestly, to me, I like the smugness. Yeah. So, him. the silver concept was just cool because he stole the Pokemon and then it went on his journey like by force, which was kind of cool. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Another thing. What are the best locations that you've been to in a game? Just three. Because for me, this would Lavender be Town, very easy, easily. an easy... Lavender Town's one. Although I really like the SSN location. That whole thing was so fun. But probably Lavender Town. No, you know what? Not Lavender Town. SS, the SSN. And, and Pokemon's one of them because it was so fun and unique. I thought it was so oh, yeah, cool. I was boat, actually yeah. going on the cruise. I was oh, like, this yeah, is dude. awesome. You I just thought it go was cool too. A ton of Pokemon battles and like... It's just really fun. So that, uh, gosh, it's 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 impossible not to pick a Zelda location. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> I mean, dude, it's got to be Hyrule Castle. Oh yeah, in with Zelda. Yeah, time. You mean but I even love the castle in Link to the Past. Oh, dude, it was great there too. It was a lot more menacing in in the Link to the Past. It was a lot more like uninviting and very cold. Meanwhile, Ocarina of Time is so warm and yeah, nice and like it was great. comfy. So. That whole segment when you're trying to reach Zelda is like the oh, cutest, dude, the like the sneaking, most adorable. The sneaking thing. mini game was so good. So that, and then the third. Surprised I even beat that game with that being there, but. <laughs> Ooh, that's really tough. I could say one for me, just one. I'd say Arkham Asylum for me. Yeah, I guess the whole game, game is that Arkham location. Arkham Asylum is so different from comic book Arkham Asylum. It's not even funny. That's a good one. But that's the only thing I'm giving you, viewers. I'd probably say... Uh, Me the, tight-lipped, tight-lipped about my opinions the, here. The um, Mysterio Oh, area. yeah, the whole Mysterio hideout, dude. That place was awesome. Yeah, and With Spider-Man the clowns and two, stuff. I think. Yeah. If you play Shattered Dimensions, you get one that's even better. You get a whole Dang. carnival, a whole oh, carnival that's, that's like a Mysterio segment. So yeah, probably that. I love that. 
the Mysterio segment. Like that area. Oh, yeah. No, dude, that, the, dude, the freaking fighting those clowns, punching the mirrors. Oh, so I, once again, at least Spider-Man 2 is different. Like, once again, I went to Pokemon and Zelda, but. Pokemon and Zelda. Yep, those are your, and I'm with you, dude, Zelda, oh, and Pokemon, dude. Those games really, those games really have unique locations, especially Pokemon for like a 16-bit to 8-bit yeah, no. game. They really made you feel like you're, which is crazy because they can't even do that in the 3D games. Yep, notice that. No, take note of that, people. Well, it's because there's, I feel like there's just less talented people, personally. I know, because even X and Y had amazing, I mean, it was a lot better. Areas. It was a lot better, even from playing even Sun and Moon. Bit. Like they had amazing areas, in way XMI. better than way better than the stuff we have now. And in my honest opinion, they should have just stuck with the same engine and assets. Nobody cares about graphics, people. No, I don't. I didn't Nobody need it to cares. Be I, I didn't need it. I, honestly, the DS ones looked better anyways because they were yeah. colorful. You just upscale them. They did look better. They looked better because there was so much life in the environments. <laughs> it, way more life. Okay, now we're gonna shift to anime. Ooh, because we got to bring this back again, since the the recent anime episode got sixty views. So, ooh, and it's gonna be boosting up. I I, pro- <laughs> I project a hundred. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, to you. let's but, go. But we're going three best wa- waifus. Waifus. Oh, gotta dude. pronounce it right for the people. It's hard because age is like a weird factor. We're not factoring that. Uh, because like every anime is like they're teenagers for some reason. Yeah, well they look like grown women. But we're not. So. I'm not talking se- like I'm not. We're obviously not talking sexually. Um, I mean, dude, most of them look like young, actual adults. Because I'm always say they're like way. cute and like endearing. I'm not like mm. thinking of it like, oh, let's go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> even if you were thinking about it that way, I'd be perfectly fine with it. Um. Here. I'm not one of those. So my all time favorite, which I don't even know how to say if it's Yandere. Yeah, you were saying it correctly. My favorite is it's my favorite one of my favorite animes of all time is Future Diaries, and that I can't remember anybody's name because they're Japanese, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> uh, so probably you don't remember the Japanese names, yeah. The pink haired girl from that is yeah, definitely Future Diaries. There. Um. Oh, there's so many. Because, like I said, for me, I am not going to bring out any of these for, for my opinion because I have my eyes lit up thinking about this. But I'm not going to say anything uh, about it. Probably Misty. I mean, yeah, Misty's a classic. I'd counter. I'd counter. Uh, Another Pokemon. <laughs> it's just hard not to. And I grew up with It's like you grow up with them. Oh. So it's like. Yeah, no. Special I get place you. in my heart. I get what you're saying um, for uh, for other reasons, but <laughs> there are so many good ones. Like I could make an infinite list, but I'm trying to think of like ones that I stuck out the most. I'm like even going through animes. Oh, dude, uh, I've been watching Don to Don. Don to Don. It's a new one that I've been watching. It's like coming out on Netflix. The girl in that is amazing. So definitely her. The one you just talked about last episode. Yeah, okay. she's awesome. I see. Uh, it's hard because like, I watched We Cross, which is one of my favorite animes, and but all the girls are like pretty generic. Yeah, very generic. What do you mean by generic? Elaborate. They're just all school That's girls. Her. So it's like no one has... There's a couple that have personalities, but some of them just like blend into... Themselves. Because one of, one of the ones on my list is a schoolgirl, so <laughs> well, it's not about that, but it's just like uh, uh, one, um, one of them is. So it's not about that; it's just that they're all pretty one-dimensional for the mm. most part. But probably the yeah, probably the We Cross girl from the, the, one of the cards, the silver hair girl with the pigtails. She's just awesome. Mm. Um, Never I don't seen know it, her so. name either. I I'll, have, I'll like, put these pictures up on the. I even have cards the on the show from the show. Like I have so her people, card, so people can know what the heck actually, we're talking I should about. Hang that up on the wall. I actually <laughs> have her card on. Oh, uh, you're talking about that card anime? Yeah. Oh my god. I actually have. Dude. I actually have cards from the show. Yeah, Dad. Nice shout out for Dad there. Um, we're gonna leave that in the intro. The card. Oh yeah, anime, Dad yeah. watched it. He liked it. 
It was weird. Oh yeah, dude. Japan's Especially the weird, brother. seasons he was watching were really weird. There, I love that show. I'm I'm obsessed. But yeah, I binged that in like two days, like everything in like two days. But um, yeah, I guess that'll be it. Yeah. Okay. Good list. <laughs> now I'm gonna make you guess who's on my list. Only one. Well, May's got to be on there. Well, yeah, that's one. Uh, I don't know. Good. It's, it's supposed there's to lightning. Be a, it's supposed to be a or whatever. Oh, not even on the list. It's not any of the people you were into back in the no, day. No, not even close, okay. dude. Not even close. Oh, is it from, is it from uh, My Hero? Oh, yeah, the chick. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, when I was like 18, man. Oof. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, she looked like a grown woman, so. They all do, I know. It's yeah. it's a weird. It's weird, but concept. I just, like I said, when I look at Ichigo, even the dude, I'm just like, oh, he's just a. Looks like a man. He's a man. That's how I'm going to anyway. register it as that. But yeah, so that's. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I was trying to clarify is that, you know, we're, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not weebos here, but. Yeah. That's a good question. Or weeaboos, if you want to. I be. mean, I could talk about that for hours. Okay. But. Favorite dude anime characters. That's you. It's kind of easier actually because there's so many generic dude anime yes, characters. Yes, and the generic dude anime characters, most of the generic ones have. I'm like Ash. Personality. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, depends on which one you're talking about. I wouldn't even put him in there. I wouldn't but. put him there either. <laughs> so there you go. There's a spoiler alert. No Ash. If it was movie Ash, movie I Ash. have to say Goku. For one. Oh, yeah, dude. To. I mean, he's iconic. Um, he's an iconic character. Even I, dude, five seconds of seeing him, I thought he was cool. And that's from you playing Sparking Zero. It's hard Zero. not to put Ichigo. Dude. Oh, yeah, I haven't even I seen know. I've only seen like maybe dude, I think his, two well, seasons. Well, when you look at his design, you just get this guy's personality in seconds. He's got that like scowl on his face all the time. Uh, so intense. Probably the main character in uh, Evangelion. Oh, dude, you're bringing out the big ones. Oh my man. gosh, I forgot one of my favorite girls. Easily Zero Two from Oh, Darling in the yeah, Franks. Yeah, easily. I think most probably I actually have most a huge people. I could hang up of her, but people are gonna come in here and be like, uh, just hang it up for the set. <laughs> um, oh, that'd be funny. That's what they people got it from. Oh. But yeah. Um, oh, man. they still like, just sitting in what my What kind room. of show are we watching? Oh. So Zero Two for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, no, back no. to guys. Yes. The, the guy from Drawing on the Franks, easily. So the the, the main character from the original Evangelion and then... Drawing in the Franks. And then Drawing in the Franks, the guy from that. Mm. For sure. Yeah, no, that's a good list. <clears throat> okay. Best anime villains. Because this one's hard. Because a lot of times the villains are very generic. I won't deny. But I think I know one of them that's going to be on your list easily. Probably I, I know who's the Red gonna. Comet from Gundam is one of them. Oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah. you're talking about the guy. Jiminy, that's his name. Yeah. Or Chimini. Him. I remember him. He was cool. Um, yeah, G Gundam. Very cocky. Very like... Uh, oh, shoot. Very cocky, very arrogant. But he kind of turns good in the end, though. <laughs> That's the thing. He kind of slowly shifts a little bit. I'm trying to think of anime where there's like a overarching villain for like a long period Because for time. me, uh, that's a very difficult question because for me, anime villains are kind of generic. Ooh, the witch, the witch girl from Soul Eater is a villain. Mm. She, she does like snake... She has like snake power things. The the only villain I would have on my list would probably be there's a guy from like I'm not gonna say it. It's a character from my hero. I'd get more into it, but he he raises a question about hero society and how corrupt it is. He raises some really good questions about like oh heroes make money off of this stuff, you know, off of saving people. Yeah, they do. And it's like, that's a little bit questionable, people. You have greater power, so why are you getting money from this? That's that's something. That's true. So that's something. You're not a cop. You have extra power. 
you could get a regular I'm job. To think of a really good villain. But yeah, that's my opinion on that. But you know that the if if any oh dude easily Tower of God. There's like a girl character in it that like betrays the lead character like a bunch mm, of times. Mm. Easily her. She you <laughs> they make you hate her, but yeah, in I the best way. Like a good villain is one that you hate that you want to see them their brains get bashed in. It's hard because Sword Art has uh, Sword Art Online. Some like wild villains, but uh, yeah, some too far. I yeah. won't deny. Very like they go too far with the themes on that. But one. yeah, that's probably my list. Okay, very respectable, <laughs> respectable list. Especially since I don't really have any strong opinions on that. Like where it's like, oh, I only have one guy. If I was doing mine, so <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Worst soundtrack in a game. Like, just a couple absolutely terrible Paintball? ones. Paintball? Oh, yeah. Game? <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be. Um, My other one was gonna be Breath of the Wild. Certain songs of Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, like really bad. Well, here's the problem it's too abstract. It's too abstract. But definitely paint that paintball. You game. just randomly going doo doo and then stopping your keyboard and then I'm cool with abstract, but Here, he's just too problem. far. Well, and that's a girl too. The funny part is she replaced uh Koji Kondo and I'm like, Why would you replace Koji Kondo? Who knows? Stupid. <clears throat> but Stupid. yeah, so probably either the paintball game or that one song from Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah. 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 See, the problem two. is they try to. I actually think I like the paintball one more, so definitely that Breath of the Wild. Well, track. because it sounds like an actual song. Yeah. It's supposed to be Zelda. You know, I wish Lawn Dart was in a video game because I. Oh, the freaking Lawn Dart song that. You know, you mean the the one that's gone for all of eternity? Yeah. Okay. Third worst. Oh, soundtrack? I guess yeah, that's two. Like really bad. Difficult to listen to. There's some songs in old Mega Man, really old Mega Man games that I think are terrible. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. There there's some really good ones though. That's there are the thing. But there's some like bad ones. There From, are like the really, really old ones. <laughs> I think I'm thinking specifically of one Wario War WarioWare. Warrior Wear's music is terrible. Terrible soundtrack. It makes me want to die. Yeah, definitely that. That's the main thing with Warrior I actually hate Warrior Wear as like a whole. Well, that's good to know. The Warrior Wear fans can come watch this episode. People swear by it. I I don't get it either, but... Especially coming from... I don't know, when I played Warrior World, which is incredible... An incredible game. It's like you then you like, dude, GameCube like WarioWare. I'm thinking it might be like Wario World, and it's like trash. Yeah, it's not like those side scrollers. But that's what I get for buying a game or like asking to like rent a game when I didn't look into it at all. Yeah, dude, you have to. Especially another yeah, really bad game is Glover. Glover. Oh terrible. yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, people people love that game. I too. hate that game. And the second one especially, they uncovered the prototype, and now they're all raving about it. So anyway. But so yeah, yeah, those are my Glover. worst. I remember Glover's music. I hate it. So what, like, what, what specifically do you not like about these tracks in particular for each game? Well, the Zelda one is just bad. It's not really a song. Well, and what I'm telling you is, is the Mega Man game I'm talking about. It's just annoying. It like grates. It's like grating. Yeah. Like maybe it doesn't sound bad at first, but it's like over time you're like, okay. There's like, a point. Stop. Yeah, it depends on which one Anytime you're it playing. gets really high pitched for a consistent amount of time with those old song like old yeah. Game Boy games, it's like ugh. Only time it ever worked was bad. But War- and WarioWare is just bad. I think WarioWare is just bad on all fronts, bad. The music yeah, is dude, so it annoying. Is bad. It's it like is. it's like really fast it's very and like, high pitched, very fast. I'm like, dude, what am I on like a it's crack, almost not music. Like a crack farm? It like, doesn't make any not sense. Music. You know, so uh, if if it were me, I would have added new Minecraft music to that list, dude. That I hate the new composer. Oh, I got. love the new Minecraft. Dude, I, I miss the piano, dude. I miss the piano. I miss the the piano is better. Like oh. I miss C four eighteen, but yeah, that would be on my list if I was doing them. Okay, best voice acting you've heard in a game. Oh. It's an interesting question because this would probably be better for me, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> probably be a lot better for me than you. Uh, I mean, Kingdom Hearts is one of them for sure. Oh, yeah, dude. Now, I will say, once you get to three, I haven't played it, anybody who's not Sora but gets one a little rough. one I thought was rough. really good voice acting. A little rough. Dark Cloud 2. Dark Cloud 2 has very voice good acting. voice acting. And Very good voice acting. Probably, I mean, you can't really be Arkham. Oh, yeah, dude, that Batman... Like I said, all uh, the voices are so good. When I hear him speak, he's like the most relaxing Batman voice you could ever hear. Yeah. He's like really mad, but he's also really calm. Yep. So those those stone face. Easy. easy. I I want, I, it's hard because I want to put Metal Gear on there. I mean, you can put more if you want. We can like the, the segment. The third one that everybody loves. Oh, yeah. yeah. David Hayter's pretty good in that. He got worse, though, as time went on, but he is really good in that. I love the voice acting in that game. But, yeah, that's but, probably mine. And that's only because they aged him up. They they made him smoke, like, 40 packs of cigarettes, which... In real life? Yeah, they did. How's that even... He, like, he, he was like, oh, I'll become a chain smoker for you guys. He would do whatever he needed. Oh, interrogation scene, I'll throw up for you. So it sounds... So it sounds uh, good. Man's a legend. Yep. Well, he's also crazy, but... <laughs> That is insane. Good voice, but my goodness, dude. He really aged himself. Too far. Yeah, way too far. Way too um, far. But yeah, so there's <laughs> definitely those. Okay, games with the worst voice acting. <laughs> That's harder because there's a lot. Would you put House of the Dead 2 on the list? <laughs> yeah. House of the Goldman? Dead 2. Goldman? The like, freaking whatever that bus simulator. Oh, yeah. Carlos. Can you hear me? I mean, I love like, it. But it's bad. It's bad, dude. Same with. Guy sounds like he's drunk. House of the Dead too. Goldman. House of the Dead too. Oh, then, I am. Oh Goldman. yes. That, yes. I'm I Goldman. am. I am like the emperor. That very is very bad. Like very bad. Um, that is definitely one. And then uh, for sure, and some coffees as well. Oh my gosh, dude! The sniper too. Yeah. The f- I I didn't know that game existed, but you could have bought it in the states. You yeah. couldn't play the original in the states, but you have the sequel. So those are the those are the worst by far. Yeah, me. dude, they're terrible. Literally, uh, Resident Evil One's pretty bad. The it original, is. but it's, I feel like it's but better. Honestly, than... they're not all terrible in that game. Like they're not awful. I've heard worse. Yeah, people make fun of it a lot, but I'm like, eh. I mean, it's not that bad. Some of it is. Some of it isn't. Next one. <laughs> all right. We gotta end with a real zinger here. We gotta go for the final, 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 <laughs> final, final question. <laughs> Least favorite genre of, of games. Games? That's a good one. Like three genres. Pick three genres you could just uh anything medieval mm-hmm. that I hate. I used to love it. I mean, I'll play MMOs. But it's like you'd prefer it to be modern or no, because I do like MMOs to be like that. But I don't even play MMOs like that. I mean, you also play Fable, which is pretty close to that. Yeah, Fable's awesome, but, but it's also more seventeenth century by the second. Game. I'm more so talking about games like Morrowind. Yeah, you're like really about big old RPG like M- RPGs. So not really MMOs, just really old school RPGs. Like, blech. and they used to be my favorite. Yeah. I understand. I understand disliking them. But, well, also, there's a lot of time you have to put into them, too. So, like, I'm literally just thinking of whatever genre, Morrowind, Skyrim. Oblivion, all those games. Starfield, even. Yeah, I'm going to probably try and play it when I get my new thing, but... Like, I'm just not into that whole Bethesda... Yeah, Bethesda... Anymore. It used to be my, some genre. of my favorite stuff of all time. Um, what I other, mean, Fallout, what other Fallout I, I hate Fallout now. Used what to be my other, favorite what other genres? Uh, Do you not particularly like any kind of beat game? Oh yeah, rhythm games, dude. Rhythm I hate those too. Hate I hate them too, brother. I'm with you. Uh, They're some of my least favorite games. I I don't care about Rock Band or Guitar Hero or DDR. And honestly, MOBAs now. <laughs> I hate I hate them. Wow, that's weird. I you used to love me. them. I hate them. Yeah, I mean, I never... I was okay with them. They're eh. Um, they're all right. 
but I hate them right now. Like, it doesn't mean I wouldn't play League. They because are because I'm already you into have to it, get into but a to get meta, into a though, new one yeah. sounds ter- like sounds horrible to me. Yeah, dude, I I don't blame you. Well, you played Pokemon Unite. That's the thing. True, but it was so simple. It was like which, in some ways, it was like the Pokemon Unite was fun because it's like dumbed down. Yeah, it's probably funner in some ways. So that was actually fun. And it's like goofy. All right, favorite genres. The final question. Before we uh, end this off. Even though I said the last one was the Definitely final. any kind of like monster battling RPG. It doesn't mm-hmm. even have to be I see. Pokemon. Like anything with monsters that are fine. There's not a ton out there, but the ones I play I like. Um, I really enjoy turn-based RPGs. Those are really fun. So like that, oh. the monster one would kind of go under that. Dude, like, dude. Any turn-based stuff I really love. I mean love you could these count days. those as separate because one's a monster catching game. Like that's, that's a little true. different. Like, but still like a turn-based the turn-based battling. RPGs are there, but it's it's very different from typical ones. I feel like there's a lot more like let's say you play Final Fantasy or any of those. They're there's, different. There's a lot more like but like I'm thinking Fire Emblem. Emphasis on the characters. It's not just a blob of creatures. It's and like, oh, these are specific characters with specific abilities. It's hard because there's certain ones that are my favorite that aren't really in genres, I guess. I mean they kind of are, like Custom Robos. I mean I'd count that as like a as like a third person But it's like the fighting's so unique, I feel like or it's over like, the top action game. Yeah, it's like so you, it's like, yeah, there's, there's not really anything out there that's like no, it. No, there isn't, and there never will be, honestly. And, and I was going to say Car Battle or Joe, because the whole car that, combat... That is something that is actually a genre, I'll say. The, the car combat yeah, is a genre. Yeah, but it's like, I, I hate so many... Well, I guess Twisted Metal. Yeah, like that's what lot. I'm saying. That's So a, yeah, probably, probably Car... That's interesting. I mean, FPS... I love FPS, but it's like... You got to have the ones you really like. so... I guess I was even thinking about multiplayer. They're very, they're very oversaturated genre. They're very oversaturated, anyways. Yeah, I mean, you have a first-person shooter every year, so it'd be nice to get some more variety in here. Well, that was a fun little episode because I I wanted to do this for a long time. I came up with these questions on the spot, believe it or not. I got any more? Them down. A little bit more time. Okay. <clears throat> Favorite rivals. Ooh, that's good. Well, actually, favorite anti heroes. You know, Shadow's got to be on the list. Obviously. Yeah, Shadow's hundred percent like, on there. These guys aren't good, and and it doesn't have to be video games either. You can go all over the place. Oh, that broadens it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Shadow's still on there. Well, he has to be. I mean, Honestly, the guy is... Riku's on there too. Yep, back when he was actually kind of cool, because he would do good things on the occasion, like helping Sora fight the Parasite Cage. I would say even on that same vein that um, Rouge is kind of oh, an dude, anti-hero. Rouge the Bat. Perfect choice. So Perfect I'd say choice. Rouge the Bat too. I know they're all video games, and but two she of them has a lot Sonic. of she has a lot of humanity to her too, though a lot of hidden depth. She's like what I wanted Catwoman to be written as. She Dude. has a she has a lot of depth. Black Cat. Oh, dude. Easily. Yeah, action. dude. She's like take off Rouge, put Black Cat on. There. Yeah, if if she's like Catwoman, uh, Catwoman, but nice. And actually into him, not just leading him along. She I'd wants probably him. maybe even take Riku and keep Rouge, and then put oh, I don't Black blame Cat the dude because Rouge the Bat has so her music in general, dude. All that stuff has personality. I've been listening to some of them tracks today. When well, you said Catwoman, before. it made me think about it because Catwoman. <laughs> there's versions of Catwoman that are awesome. Oh, I agree um, with you. Hands down, hands down, dude. Yeah, I, I so love, I love those characters. Well, Black Cat, I'm specifically thinking... <laughs> From Spider-Man 2. That, but the, she, what's the one where you're like on her side? Web of Shadows. Web, uh, everybody would have picked her there. I mean, they they the way they animated her is... That game, well, that game is just so good. Very 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I was very young when I played it and did not understand. <laughs> and now I understand. When I was 15, I was like, oh, wait. She's not just attractive. She's literally forcing herself on him. <laughs> so that's, yeah. I was like, wow, that's, she really wants him. She's thirsty for him. Dude, and now I'm thinking of all these other girls in anime, too. Like, <laughs> pretty much all the girls in Sword Art are awesome. Um, Yeah, I only saw two. So, like, <laughs> did you see the girl from Gun Gale, the sniper girl? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, I didn't watch Gun She's Gale. She's awesome. I watched season two, and you know the, the I think season two has Gun Gale. Is yeah, yeah, Is that where, yeah. where Ichigo has or no? Uh, uh, Kirito, Kirito has the long hair. Yeah, Yo yeah. Keeps I saw he's that. A girl. Yeah, yeah. That one, yeah. The, there's yeah. The girl I'm talking about is in that. They went a little too close to home with the uh, the villain there too. With her, yikes. Yeah. Oh, too it's close so to home. Good. It, it hurt. I didn't like to see that. That was, was rough disturbed. to watch. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in sort of disturbed. Rough yeah, watch. Sal. Okay, most emotional moments in gaming. This is a true, a true question that just. Oh, easily. I I know where you're going with this. What's the one with the popsicle? Oh my gosh, three hundred fifty-eight over two yeah. days. I knew you were gonna put a Roxas moment on for there. For sure, you're gonna put a Roxas moment yeah. on there. You probably there's filled... probably two Roxas. I could fill the whole. List up with Roxas, I mean, but. for me, it's probably the moment he disappears, and yeah. then he says, "My summer vacation is over." Yeah, like that. dude. Like I said, hit me now. every time I say it, it hits me and it hits you. Every time I bring it up, and then who will I have ice cream with? With Shion. Those are the two. Yeah, dude. Those are the two things that just like they took me out, man. When I when I saw that, I was like, "Are these writers sadistic?" I was like, "Are they sadistic?" When I was younger, and uh, it's going back to the Zelda, the Hyrule Castle, where you first see Zelda. Oh, dude! Like I was a kid playing it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, she's." I was like, "She's so cute, so charming," and even now she's like adorable. So that's definitely a moment too that I was like emotional. Um, about. it's like it's like a core memory of mine. Death of Mega Man probably is one of them for me. Oh, and oh Man, yeah, 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 that that's it's heavy because it's like oh, it's his brother. That is he straight crazy. up dies, and he's just standing at the pier thinking, he's dead. My brother is dead. It's not like, oh, it's a net navy. It's my brother. You know? You're right. The person I care about, he's just standing there. Like, imagine if it was one of us in the same position. Yeah, it's that's like, a good one. It's like you're just st- he's just standing there like, you know, every time in that series when people are like, oh, the net navvies are dead, it's really sad. I'm like, there's, I'm not there's sad a at all. Lot in Fire Emblem too, because when your character dies, they're like dead. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that was terrible. So there was a lot of like moments I would just in get that irritated where I would get like attached to people, and they're like, oh no, I'm gonna lose him. Dude, and I remember I just restart. Same, I would too. But the problem is, you there's a point where you just can't yeah, win. Can't. I would permanently lose some people, which. Uh, uh, I also kind of like that aspect because it's supposed to be a journey, and if there's no like, if there's nothing there, then uh, you know I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan to be honest. There's so many though. There's Some a lot of are just like even being the elite four in Pokemon for the first. Oh, time. dude, that was that was probably the coolest thing ever. When you beat you beat Lance, and then you fight Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the train reminds me of home. It got but, me. That got me like good. I had to think for me because I I'll probably have ten of these on my questionnaire, so or like more than that. But uh, there was one that slipped my mind. Um, I'd say Alfred leaving in Telltale Batman kind of oh, sucked. Dude, I was ticked. That's I was angry. There's a lot in Telltale that stings though. I was angry, and Harvey Harvey not getting his happy ending really made me sad having to see him like constantly like the whole two-face thing makes me sad yeah it's like it's this poor guy who was abused as a kid like smacked in the head by his dad with a bat as a child good guy like just isn't working out yep he's trying everything he's trying to save gotham politically he's like okay i'm gonna try to save gotham we do gotta do some bad stuff to make this work but yeah you know teaming up with falcone like yeah, but, I mean, Wayne's did bad stuff, too, to help. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, Wayne, like I said, Wayne's dad, I firmly believe I will stand with Mr. Wayne. There was something more going on there than him just being a terrible person. I firmly believe if season three happens, 
I just think it's more of the same where it's like Falcone did good stuff too. Yeah, he's he just, did. He kept the place. But running. he was a horrible guy. Terrible guy, but but you know. it doesn't mean they don't do good too. Yeah, they had to do what they had to do for a crappy city. That's a pit, anyways. The people yeah. suck there. Yep. I mean, so. think of yeah. Think about it from their perspective. Okay, so we do this legitimately and nothing happens. One thing about Batman is, like, nothing's black and white. That's true. Even freaking Joker isn't. In Batman's view, it's not. Although he does basically become. Oh, yeah. He, he, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, surprise, surprise. He's crazy and is pulling you along in some ways. Like I said, I will never forget that moment in season one. The way he acted in that was like, okay, this is Joker. And then in season two, he's all of a sudden acting like buddy, buddy. It's like, okay. Anywho, people, <laughs> we filled up an entire episode. We did. God bless. I could God talk bless. about this all night. Yeah, me too. But like I said, we both got... It's late. We both got sleep we need. So See you next week. See you next week.